It is a new type of planet, Earth on steroids. I like to call them super Earths. They are just like the Earth, except bigger, up to about 10 times the mass of the Earth. One family that the super Earths resemble, just like our own Earth, continents, oceans. Some of them may be very dry, like Mars. And then another family that we call water worlds or ocean planets that are completely covered with water. Welcome to Gliese 581C. This planet was found by Michel Mayor and it orbits with two other planets around a very small star. It is only 20 light years away in the constellation of Libra and is one of the smallest terrestrial planets found beyond our solar system. But that doesn't mean Gliese 581c is small. It's still a super Earth with five times the mass of our home planet. And it is the possibility of finding liquid water that gets scientists excited. An ocean planet feels like being in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. With no land in sight, just water, puffy white clouds and blue sky above you. The winds on the ocean world are going to be similar to that of the Earth. So it will be a very good place to sail. The weather is absolutely perfect. Every day you get a clear blue sky and the sun just stays in the same place. Now how's that for weather prediction? No land anywhere, even far beneath the surface. When you have a large amount of water, then at the bottom of an ocean, you will form very high pressure in excess of a million atmospheres. And that pressure will compress the liquid water, that is the ocean, into a state which we call ice seven. No, it's not like ice in your refrigerator. The molecules of water that are in the ice in your refrigerator are kind of all jumbled up. But if you form ice under very high pressure, then the water molecules can become ordered, they can become aligned. I can show you a crystal that is a very good analog to ice 7. This is halite also known commonly as uh, rock salt. Ice 7 may exist within our own solar system. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, may have a mantle of liquid water surrounded by a thick icy crust. The pressure from the crust is so great that Ice 7 might exist deep within these uncharted seas. If we scale up and thaw out Europa, it may be a water world similar to Gliese 581c. One could imagine that life could emerge on a water world. After all, water is essential to life on Earth. Everywhere on Earth where there is water, there is life. You cannot find a sterile drop of water on Earth unless you Put it in the microwave yourself. On this water world, there could be bacteria or any kind of life in the ocean itself. But not all super Earths are water worlds teeming with life. When we talk about super Earths, we talked about two major families of mostly rocky with some water and uh, mostly water with an endless ocean. But one has to add to those a third family of probably very rare super Earths and Earth like planets, which uh, are called carbon planets. A carbon planet is unlike anything we've ever seen anywhere a place with an alien chemistry but loaded 
with very earthly treasures.